Hi to Jacko. So hard for Elf. It is so hard on this on this map too, because you can do this little green creep for free, but that Merc shop is so hard to do, even with like with the AOW, and it just it just like the advantage that Night Elf has over Undead is being able to AOW creep and just getting this little dinky camp next is like barely a use of that AOW. So this map can be difficult for Elf. But of course we have Sonic. As Sonic, he has an he has a plan, right? He has a plan. Look, his plan is already uh, you know set in motion. Kind of under? curious um, to see what. I'm always curious to see what the undead does in terms of like. Usually they try and creep level two, right? And then they 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 push with some ghouls. And I'm curious. I'm always curious to see like how many ghouls they make, and at what point they tech, and like what is their creep pattern to get level two? Because there's actually a lot of variation in terms of what undead does against night elf in this matchup. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, some undeads like to play very aggressive, and others they don't play that aggressive. Happy Happy's not as aggressive. I, we hardly see Happy just attack early game, like with six ghouls. Not as often, at least as someone like Lucifer. Lucifer on this map, it's like he always goes for it, he always attacks. But Happy, you know, yeah. he, uh, he, he's gonna creep some more and he's gonna be playing a bit more passively. There's a demon out there. He's, uh, he has a ring of protection. Do we see a mana burn? Yes. A nice mana burn. Definitely, of course, he took Unholy Aura first, so he doesn't have, he can't spend his mana yet anyway. But uh, the mana burst is going to be nice because he's going to hit level 2 now. And now, uh, even a wisp going to. Uh, and we see that wisp party. floating. That wisp is floating in the distance. It's not really worth it just to detonate two skeletons, but if you can get like three to four skeletons plus the DK, it's totally worth it. And you, you always want to try and avoid letting him coil it. You don't want to let him coil it. I'm actually surprised we didn't see a detonate as he coiled. Depending on the ping of the Night Off player, that can be. If you have no ping, it's actually really easy to do. Like you can you can detonate your wisp as the coil is coming to it, and you deny that experience, and it's minus seventy five mana for that DK. But uh, Sonic didn't do that. So. Well, maybe Sonic wants to uh, lure Happy in a false sense of security by letting him think like he's farther ahead than he really is. There's a nice mana burn. Ooh. Demon Hunter does have staff though. He can get out if he uses oh. it on time though. If he waits too long. Ooh, is this on time? Yeah, it's on time. Easy peasy. Staff's out. He's safe. He's back at home. Nice. I never... So, something I never really agree with is once you're surrounded, I, d I don't agree with standing there and taking da damage and kind of waiting until the last second to staff because you're taking so much damage so quickly. It, it doesn't seem worth it because you end up using all of your moon wells because you stuck around like if he would have staffed earlier he would have had to only use two moon wells instead of three for example mm -hmm. well i agree in this situation we do see uh sometimes especially if we see someone like live play he knows exactly when to stay and when not to stay like uh he's surrounded his demon to get surrounded sometimes it seems like almost on purpose and then he has like a bunch of archers and he kills like two or three ghouls before he yeah. uh he tps out yeah, if you have enough archers yeah. there, it's worth it because the archers do do a lot of focus damage to the ghouls. But it kind of depends on where you're. If it, it's like all those little micro situations where it depends on how many archers are in range and how many you have and the HP of your demon hunter and whether you're level two and the items you have and you kind of have to just like take all that into account and make an instantaneous decision. Your shadow fury in the base, well. Uh... Uh, oh, and this is so. This is, is getting creep jacked. Berserker in a bit exactly. Of so this is what I was talking about. This this merc camp being very very hard. So usually getting level two with that uh, with your second hero in this case the panda is relatively easy, depending. But with this camp, that camp is so hard. And if you get jacked while you're doing it, you'll see he just lost his OW. And while he did get that one item, the rest of it is gonzo. He did. He he could not finish it, and he's still sitting at level one with that panda. Players' forces are under attack. Well, he will get. Uh, maybe he will get a tome of XP. You know, to counteract that. He might get. I think he deserves one. I think Sonic deserves a tome of XP here, because he's just. He's I agree. He's such a great guy. This uh, tournament, 
And, uh, you know, we got some bad luck there with the Lionhorn of Stormwind. You know, let's see what it gets here. There's a big mana pot? That's that's not bad. Lots of Breath of Fire. Tome of Knowledge, not ready. The Tome of XP. But, uh, you know, it's, it's something. The Ancient of Lore is going up. I do like the Panda, as always. At least you have a chance to win with the Panda. And uh, look at those Me? ghouls, super long hit points, going home. Yeah, I, I was just about to mention that Happy is creeping super aggressively. Even after he hit level 3, he's now going for level 4. And he's just kind of, uh, yeah, creeping super aggressively. Oh, he gets mana burned. The, the level 4 Death Knight, is that a big deal? Is he going for uh, level 2 Unholy Aura? I think he'll go for the level 2 Unholy Aura, yeah. And it, and it does make a significant difference. Well, his first fiend is out. There's a list. Can he sni snipe some archers? One archer goes down. The other archer over here, she's also going to die for sure. Nova on the demon hunter almost already kills the archer. And now the archer is dead. And uh, those two archers... Uh, so Sonic strangers. is throwing up an expo in the top left. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful expo. And he's, and he's throwing up the expo as he started his tech as well. So his tier 3 just started. Uh, he's not making, he doesn't have a Dryad out yet, I don't believe, but he's getting Dispel, even before he gets that first Dryad. So, uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, Happy is about to ding tier 3 in about 2 seconds here. So this Expo is a bit early, I feel like it's a bit cheesy, I've, I feel like Sonic feels like he's be behind, so he has to do something a bit cheesy to come back. Oh, Gold does die to the creep, because if, Luz cool. if uh, Happy knows about this expansion, he could easily cancel it. And there's another Breath of Fire. These heroes and units are pretty low now for Happy. Do those Breath of Fires. It's just level 1. But sometimes level 1 Panda is strong enough. Level 1 Breath of Fire. And as long as you keep that DK low, there's not much he can do as far as pushing. He's going to have to buy a heal. We'll s uh, no, not going to buy a heal potion. He's waiting for that statue to come out. Yeah, and he's this probably going to wait for the Frost Worm uh, before he attacks that expansion. Yeah. And while this expansion is a little bit early, that's still relatively standard timing. Uh, you, you usually do throw that up around like after the first two dryads come out or as you're putting up your lures. Um, so while it is a little bit early, it's like maybe only about 30 seconds early or so. And so it should be expected by Happy. And we see he actually just scouted it with that uh, with the shade as well. So he did in fact see it. Yeah, and he scouts the main now as well. This uh, tree of return is not even done uh, upgrading, and the first frostborn is going to be built here in a second. The demon is invisible. Can he can he steal anything? There's no more items to steal. Uh, there's nothing really here to steal for demon So maybe the next camp he can steal something. He's still level two, so yeah, he cannot really mana burn her ass very efficiently. I don't like this very much. I like that level 3 bad Demon Hunter ASAP. Oh! Panda survives. The panda almost died. <laughs> the panda went down to about 50 hit points. That's a little bit close. Oh, Dryad going down to 30 hit points. Oh my god, he just lost the Dryad creeping. That Dryad is really important. He needs that Dryad. Oh, and all, all the while the Demon Hunter just got nova He popped his Invis pot and... Uh, Demon Hunter got Nova, nearly got surrounded there. Had he got surrounded, he did have that staff, but he would have taken a ton of damage. I feel like he may have actually died because of the orb. Yeah, well, it also would have depended if the Death Rider would have been close enough. The Demon Hunter did get that... Uh, I'm not sure if he got the kill on the Ogre Magi, but he did get the item. But it's uh, he really needs a level 3 Demon Hunter. That's so important. He does need it. He does. You, you kind of, you want your Demon Hunter to stay on par with the Death Knight. So if that Death Knight is level 3, you kind of want, you want your Demon Hunter to be level 3. Because otherwise those, the coils and the Novas are, are a lot. Because he's going to start that fight just by doing a nuke. And if he has a second nuke up, by the time, uh, by the time those cooldowns are up, then, I mean, you're in trouble. You At that point, that's when you got to get your heroes out of the fight. And that just decreases your overall DPS so, so badly. Well, the Demon Hunter is already level. Uh, Death Knight is already level four, 
against a level 2 demon hunter. So, uh, it's even bigger XP gap. Hello, bear. Okay, bear retreats in time. Here comes the timing attack of Happy. Of course, the expansion just... Uh, oh, it has been this mining already for a little bit. Nice. 50 mana mana burn is pretty shitty. There goes one Berserker. There goes a bear. There goes everything. There's a healing ward even does get uh, taken care of. And the coil saves the fiend. There is... Uh, how is uh, Sonic going to defend this? Please tell us. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he is. <laughs> he needs... He needs a lot more than what he has right now. Well, uh, he's only getting less than what he has because he's losing I units. Because dry. Did he already use? He already used the greater mana pot. I was th I was thinking maybe if he had like six breath of fires and kept his panda alive, maybe he could. Um, he does have the shop up in his base, so maybe he can use a shop to his advantage. But uh, yeah, there's. That was just um, that was textbook by Happy early AOW by sending his his first ghoul, which kind of sets it sets both players back a lot of wood. Yeah, but you get the die with the wisp, right? Oh, you it's very hard. He built it too, so, so Sonic built it too close. You can if you build the AOW a little bit further out. When you build it that close, you, it's almost impossible to try to switch the aggro off from your AOW. Like if you build it closer to the green or f even further south. Of those trees then you then there's enough room to kind of pull the aggro and either build another building and then like like what you do is you, you try and aggro it with your wisp and then you build an ancient of wonders next to it which pulls the aggro and then you cancel the ancient of wonders and then they run back to their their camp and then what ends up happening is is the the ghoul as long as the ghoul didn't take too much damage the first time he does it again and then it's kind of like a game of cat and mouse or rock paper scissors or whatever and you kind of keep going back and forth and it, and it all depends on basically how many units away that AOW is from that creep. Okay, well, this game we have a keeper, and uh, that's gonna be exciting. Like a keeper, do we see mass hunters is here? The ghoul, he doesn't see the keeper, he doesn't stay a lot around long enough. If he did, he would of course die to that entangle. There's an ace of the war, we don't see a hunter's hole yet. Is he going archers with that keeper? We don't see a hunter's on. He doesn't have wood for it, and he's not going to have wood for it for another 45 seconds or so. So, uh, I guess we're going to see archers, or at least one archer, because he's going to make one initial archer and then maybe switch to hunt. So I'm not sure. It's rare to see archers and keeper. Maybe, maybe he's desperate. Maybe he tries something, uh, something funny. He doesn't tangle the ghoul. Some right clicks on the ghoul takes the ghoul pretty, uh, you know, maybe it will take him out. No, there's a coil, saves the ghoul. And uh, by the way, the prize pool for this, the winner will get two and a half K rubbles. And the second place will, uh, place will get a bit over one K rubbles, guys. So that's a lot of rubbles. How many is that in schmeckles? Schmeckles? Uh, that's like 10,000 schmeckles. Oh, oh the that's ghoul. a lot of schmeckles. The ghoul is dead. Oh, nice. I don't. I don't even know if he needed that last entangle. It only had one hit left. He may have been able, but whatever. It's more important just to make sure you get that kill. Yeah, I uh, agree. Like he might have gotten, it could have gotten that uh, hit. But of course, the range of the entangle is maybe a bit farther than like his normal attack uh, attack range. We're we're seeing an interesting base by Happy. Did you did you note the two necropolises with the tech? And then, uh, and both of the techs started right about the same. T oh no! Actually, the the night off tech is about ten seconds ahead of the undead tech. Well, that second necropolis, of course, had to be built because of the early ghoul harass. So he didn't have lumber for a second uh, Nerubian or uh, Ziggurat. Does give him a much wider range with this uh, house of the dead, though, or Black Citadel. You see in the, t the top left, Sonic has uh, pulled the Mercs with the Archer, and now he has the, uh, the Berserker and the Shadow Priest. Yeah, he's just stacking. He's just uh, just built like two Archers, gets two Trolls. He's just playing a Keeper, play standard game, you know, with Keeper first. We all know the strategy, Kappa. And uh, yeah, no Huntresses, no cheese so far. Oh no, Sonic, you're gonna lose your Archer to Lightning Shield. Sonic, you're gonna lose your Archer to Lightning Shield. Nope, okay. Oh, that was so close. Well, he lost a Wisp to Creeps. And, uh, which is not good. He's been losing a lot of Wisp. Like, he lost one early uh, to the 
cool. And now I lost one to the creeps. Yeah, he's playing a little bit sloppy this game. Well, hopefully it's gonna be uh, the keeper is gonna be good enough that even though he loses sloppy, actually he, there's no chance anymore for him to win 3-0. So you don't have to write your letter. Keeper oh dies to the god. coil. <laughs> oh my god! Happy is making him look bad. <laughs> This is like, this looks like a Lotto vs. Entei game. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't think you you make you uh, make Entei look that bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, Happy gets a kill there. Cloak of Shadows, Tome of Strength. The Death Knight level 3. The Panda is out here for... Sonic and his uh, keeper is is still dead. Of course, he'll be back in a moment as level two. Yeah. Flute of accuracy here for the death knight. Does he go? Uh, he's going gargoyles, which makes sense against the keeper. But I mean, it's not like he went huntresses. He just sees the keeper and he goes gargoyles. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. I guess he's afraid to go because the keeper is good against fiends, but. I mean, Happy is so far ahead, I think he could win with anything. I think playing Gargoyles gives gives Sonic a little bit of a chance, but um, I don't know. This is going to be hard for Sonic to come back. Panda oh is a trouble. <laughs> Panda is a trouble. Very trouble. Can he get out? Oh. No, he will reach the Moonwell in, in time because there's no mana for a second coil. If he had the Tome of Intelligence, he would have mana for a second coil. But no <laughs> one likes to pick up Tomes in this game. <laughs> That's true. Chaco, can you speak like the Keeper of the Grove? I don't know how he speaks. So, I... No. I can't. Hey! I actually don't know. I know his voice. I don't know his voice lines, though. He speaks like like an old forest elder. Oh, 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 oh. We got an entangle. Maybe a surround? No. But a valiant effort, though. Uh, oh, he's still trying. How much mana does he one? have? Yeah, he's going to have a surround in a second. He's gonna have another surround in a second. Maybe uh, the Death Knight can use his secret path to the right if he sees it. Or Sonic could just it, not it, get Sonic. Get oh no, Sonic. God, Sonic. Use your breath. Use your breath. You got him. Town is under siege. Why didn't he breath of fire him? I think he thought he was too far away. But uh, yeah, he wasn't. Oh my goodness, Sonic. He actually, he could have either forced the TP or... Or killed him there. He, he was, I guarantee, he was 100% in range of that Breath of Fire. Oh, Sonic. Meanwhile, there are gargoyles flying around in uh, Sonic's base. There's three of them harassing these wisps. The wispses. And upon seeing those gargoyles, Sonic instantly bought that shredder. He said, you are not going to give me wood problems. I'm going to buy a shredder. I'm going to make the big investment. And I'm going to have unlimited wood. Sounds good. Oh, but he will have to cancel the building. I'm not even sure what he was building there. Maybe an ancient protector? Either an ancient protector or a shop if he doesn't have a shop. Yeah, he doesn't have a shop yet. It was either a shop or an ancient protector. There oh. it is. Ancient protector. Guess I have a good eye for ancient protectors. The Shredder here takes a bit of damage, but he doesn't die that easily. He has three armor. Hello, 15% damage reduction. These gargoyles, they just tickle him with their little their little boomerangs that never bounce back. We have another dried. And, uh, Meanwhile, Undead did just hit tier 3 and the Lich is coming out. Lich is about to pop out in 10 seconds. And Ghoul Frenzy is going to be upgraded or is, is done right now. So is this time to win the game for Happy? Uh, after he gets the Lich, is he just going to win the game or is he going to prolong I the game? I think he'll I think he'll get Ghoul Frenzy, get the Lich with the orb, and push this expo. And I think that's going to be uh, all she wrote. I think we're going to hear the fat lady sing. But we'll see. I I've been wrong before, Chaco. Yeah, I'm a professional streamer, so you know, I I don't call games too early. You know, I keep it exciting. Uh, this Death Knight he walks past the Ancient of War. He's level four. He has the uh, the the flute as well, of course. So the gargoyles they really like the music the Death Knight plays. So because of that, they get some extra accuracy. Uh, accuracy, they do extra damage here. And they uh, are they gonna kill the ancient protector? Yes, the ancient protector in trouble, guys. He is going down. 
The engine protector doesn't stand a chance against the 50 dude army. Yeah, there was not much he could protect in his life. This is like the Here. the youngest tree, death of a tree I've seen in my life. It's not the ancient protector. It's like he, he didn't live long he's enough like to be called ancient. The, the, he's the juvenile protector. <laughs> juvenile protector, yeah. He's the adolescent protector. Well, hopefully uh, they kept some of his seats so they can rebuild uh, the ancient protector later. Keeper with a nice tackle. Can he get the goal? He, no, that, that DK still has another coil. He's going to keep those ghouls alive. This panda needs level three so badly. I, I really think he should be creeping to try and get level three. The panda, the, the damage increase for level two breath of fire over level one is massive. He's going to, oh, he didn't have a staff on his keeper because he still didn't have a shop. There we go. His shop just finished. Um, had he had a staff, he would have been able to save his DP. Uh, Sonic is honestly playing a little bit sloppy. He really is this game. Now, it's hard to play perfect against Happy because Happy plays pretty perfect. But uh, Sonic is making some some mistakes this game. Maybe he's no longer confident that he can beat Happy. And he's like, ah, whatever. Doesn't give it this full full power anymore he, he needs destroyer. to give it his full power his power level needs to be over 9,000 what over 9,000 oh this is gonna hurt it's over 9,000 okay we see a fight gargoyles are just shift clicked on all those dryads the dryads are gonna die in about two seconds meanwhile he novas the archers as well as Pit dinging the berserker berserker drops now he immediately switches focus on the ground to the keeper the keeper is weak and keeper goes down he was trying to pass the greater healing potion that the panda has but he wasn't able to do it fast enough panda does still have a greater healing potion but he's dropping pretty quickly and those bears were trying to focus ghouls that were running away and he has the yeah and he ggs out that was not looking good and this map is one of the best warden maps if we don't see a warden on this map we're never gonna there it is there it is thank goodness we do see the warden finally i feel i really do just based on the past two games i feel like warden is his best chance of winning and sonic feels there's a strain it's hard to play warden it really is not easy to play warden but when i watch sonic play warden there's a strange comfort level that he has playing warden he's just comfortable with her so i i, I really feel like warden is his best shot at winning this I think it's because like the warden, uh, she has like an iron cell, just like uh, Sonic has, you know, in the back of his room. So uh, just like this, this familiar familiarity, like this connection between them, that they can just they can communicate to each other without speaking. That'll do it. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, and we we do see a double scout by the undead. Did you see that? He had a double ghoul scout scouting those merc shops. He really did not want Sonic to get that quick merc shop. Yeah, and usually he uh, tries to steal an item or two. He's already upgrading the backpack. We've seen this so often where you see the ghoul running around with like a greater healing potion or greater mana potion and like uh, boots of uh, slippers of agility or something. One ghoul is already dead though. Uh, the Sonic knows about these annoying little ghouls that steals items. So he just kills one ghoul and uh, the second ghoul, he's not done yet. He still wants to steal the item. Let's see if he gets it. <laughs> and he does get the <laughs> item. He got it. I love that. That is awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> you very, you like never see that. That is, awesome. that is so good. Well done, Happy. Well done. Uh, but this second ghoul might die here. Oh no, we have Coil. No more mana for Shadow Strike. The ghoul is safe. So, uh... Yeah, and he did already pass right? that circlet. Yeah, he, he passed that in, is, initially. Immediately. And it, it's pretty big too. That, that circlet is important for the Warden. The Warden needs all of those stats. Stats are so important on the Warden. The Warden needs every bit of mana, every hit point, every piece of agility that she can get. Yeah, and you uh, you learned on the High to Chuckle class how important those circlets are. Oh my gosh. How many... I... I <laughs> distinctly remember losing and i now have nightmares about that one game where had i bought the circlet i would have won because 
like the hero escaped with two hit points or something like that. Mm -hmm. But then I remember last last Hide to Chuckle class, I distinctly remember you winning because that you bought true. the circlet. So you oh, have so learned. true. So the circlet is that important. That important, guys. The circlet is finally complete. Skeleton here in the base. Do we have uh, wait? Is he still tier one? Is he not tier one a little bit long? Or is this standard? Uh, it's it's there. It just started. It that's relatively standard. Ma making three archers is pretty standard. Um, his his tech is significantly delayed because he does get the two AOWs to help him with creeping for the warden. So, oh my gosh, the warden is surrounded and hidden. Well, she was surrounded <laughs> and hidden before as well. So I think she she might have blinked out. And then got surrounded again. Or maybe uh, maybe Happy let her go. I'm not sure. And then he surrounded her again. Maybe, uh, but we'll see in a moment if she has blink or not. Yes. Uh, you see Sonic is eating through the trees to creep this merc shop. This is going to be super important that he gets this experience. It's kind of a race to level 3. Uh, it's kind of like the... It's, it's actually very similar to, to Orc versus human where the human is racing to get level three except in this the warden is racing to get level three and the faster you can get to level three the faster you can try and win this game yeah and um this creep camp is that enough for level three i don't think so right it might be uh, barely? it's gonna be yeah uh, it actually that it might be enough as long as the aw doesn't take that creep you gotta switch it aw's gonna take it Oh, oh, he switched it at the last second. Okay. Um, no, I think that actually... Oh, it did Warden... Oh, no. Okay, Warden blink. I thought the Warden got coiled. It's going to be very close to level 3, I believe. Okay, that's... Uh, then he needs one more kill somewhere. Maybe a little null. Or not actually... Yeah, well, let's see. Yeah, he needs yeah. about 27 more XP. Level 1 creep wouldn't be enough, but... Level 2 or level 3 creep... Should be fine. The, the, oh, this little green. Yeah. Forces are under attack. He, he needs one of those little green guys. The Hunter's Hall built over here on the left side. Interesting place for the Hunter's Hall. I see the Happy might find it. And uh, he might even cancel it. <laughs> I don't, he won't be able to cancel it. There's too many archers there. Those archers will be able to do a lot of damage to those ghouls. Yeah, but archers are scared of ghouls, don't you know? No, not when you have that many. Strength in numbers. Okay. He has uh, he has a pretty significant army. He is not afraid of ghouls at this point. I Blade promise you that. What he is afraid of is he's afraid of a lich with a nova. But he is not afraid of ghouls. Well, the Ancient of War There's is afraid of the ghouls. Actually, he's not running. He's fighting. Never mind. But the, the one ghoul goes down. One Ancient of War goes down. The Warden is level 3. She's uh, she's at the power Warden's level now. She has a strength That's correct. Ghouls. And Warden still has a ton of mana. And the uh, DK does not have mana. So we're going to see a couple of these ghouls die. At least one more, I believe. <laughs> well, he does kill all the ghouls himself. So he doesn't give a lot of uh, XP to the Warden. Two ancients with lords going up. And the base of Sonic. And what do we get here? There's the Lich. The Lich here for Happy. And of course a Slaughterhouse for, for Happy. And a Black Citadel for Happy. He's playing this uh, pretty standard. And for Sonic, pretty standard as well. He's making a couple extra wisps. He's two lures and the shop going up. So do you like an expansion with the Warden? Do you like it? I do. I always... Yes, I you, do. You actually... It, uh, why am I even asking? You, you like expansions when you play Orc. You always like expansions. <laughs> why did I, I even ask you that? <laughs> you can... Uh, but especially with Warden, because you can force out TPs a lot easier than you can with others. When you, when you, even doubly, especially when you're going Shadow Strike, because if you got full, if you have full mana on a Warden, you can try and push that DK out just by Shadow Striking him over and over again. Okay, well, so far we don't see one yet. I do think you, like with the Warden, you can play without an expansion. And uh, your chances oh. of winning are better than uh, than if you go demon under demon or whatever, and you don't go expansion. So uh, yeah. the the shop got cancelled, and uh, drives are being. And we built. do see the warden chasing the death death knight, and in top left we see some creeping with the AOW and this horde of archers and berserker. And this red camp is not going to be easy. That AOW takes a lot of damage from this red camp. So, uh, let's see if he can keep this AOW alive. He has two Wisps to repair, and he does have a significant Archer army, so he should be okay. 
Uh, all the while, Warden is harassing. And he has to be careful. Tippy, tippy. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's he's he wants that Death Knight. He wants that Death Knight badly. Oh, and Death Knight got Rune Bracers, Chaco. That mm -hmm. is a huge item for him. Word of his level 4. Blake is now 10 mana. Uh, she was low on mana, but she does have to TP. She couldn't get a Death Knight. Meanwhile, uh, the Angel War went down. I'm not sure if he should continue creeping here. Can he uh, take it out? I guess he can. It seems like he can. Uh, but actually, he can. You have an Archer, almost dies. And, uh, Those archers do very little damage. Good job. Uh, oh, and that is a huge item. Do you see what dropped, Chaco? I see it. Yeah. It is the staff of. Can you hear it? Can you hear what dropped? No, I, can't. I can't. It's too can't quiet. Hear anything. <gasps> <sighs> staff of silence is what it's called. And the uh, warden picks it up and she's gonna use this later on like a death knight, on a lich, on other units, heroes maybe even. Uh, do we see the Dark Ranger third dodge yet? Is he gonna buy her now? Maybe not. There she is. There she is. There she is. And our, that Dark Ranger is massive by limiting the mobility of the warden. So we should see a silence come off on that warden at the start of every single fight. Unless the Dark Ranger gets silenced first and then she cannot uh, say anything. It's the silence, the silence battle. Yeah, but even if the warden gets silenced, she can still silence the Dark Ranger. What is this tome? Why did he not pick up the tome? Hello. No one likes tomes here. Nice Nova, an archer and a first observer are dead. That's not very good, but he gets a fiend for it in return. Yeah, nice. Uh, you take that trade. That is a good trade for the Night Elf. Okay, well, Warden is fine. And the, uh, Sonic really wants these archers to stay alive. It, those archers kind of do do a lot of damage. And not only that, they, they, they will switch the focus of the Lich Nova from the Warden to those archers. So he's going to need to archer those. He's going to need to Nova the archers in the fight rather than the Warden, which makes a significant difference taking... Not taking a Nova to the face. Yeah, Nova to the face, it it doesn't look as painful as it feels. Like, it's just, it's so painful. Like, it's, the cold can be really painful. I don't know if you have uh, any winters where you live, but. Oh yeah, we have, we got some winters, Chaco. Well, then you, then you understand like how painful the cold can be. It's winter, oh, yeah. winter man. Where I went to college, the it was it was so cold that you would walking between your classes like you would walk like maybe 10 minutes or so between your two buildings of the classes that was a terrible fan of knives that hit one ghoul i um, think you misclicked yeah and and you would not uh you wouldn't be able to feel your face all right anyway there's a fight coming up here so because he hasn't used the tome of your training yet so that was like level one level one fan of knives level two blink level oh, two so uh, shadow one... strike yeah, that was totally a misclick then. But he's not using the tome yet. Is he? Uh, he probably thinks he needs this level two shadow strikes. Okay, now he uses it. Now he retrains. Probably level three shadow. Uh, level three fan of knives. Level two blink is what I'm expecting here. He's drinking so much moon juice. Nom 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 nom. And he is going to the base of Happy. But Happy doesn't have a shredder uh, zeppelin yet. And we see an Ancient of Wind just got up for Sonic, and we see a Hippo coming out. Death Knight finally hits level 3. And also, Expo just started building. So as he's going to harass these Akos, he threw up his Expo. This is, so far, this is the best game so far by Sonic. In my opinion. In my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, your opinion weighs quite a lot right now. As my, my professional co-caster. Warden blinks in. Uh, that's actually level three blink and level two shadow uh, fan of knives, which we've uh, yeah we also see now and then. There's not wait did the fan of knives hit anything? How did that not? No, it didn't, and I'm very surprised. I thought they were in range. That was bizarre. I think they're in range. I think you just canceled the animation too fast. Sometimes uh, you don't do damage if you cancel it too fast. I don't need, know the Is exact kind of timing. Is it like the flame strike? It's kind of like the flame strike with the... Uh... Yeah, kind of, I guess. Although with the flame strike, you have a much longer 
uh, time that you can cancel it and don't do any damage. Keeping those hippos alive are so important because he doesn't have web yet. Let's see, and Happy's still not upgrading web either. Uh, so Sonic did a great job of keeping those hippos alive. He tried to Nova to get a kill on those hippos, and he used the moon wells to keep those hippos alive. Those two hippos are basically what are going to win him this fight, assuming web doesn't... Yeah, web is still not being upgraded. Those two hippos are single-handedly going to win him this fight. Well, hugely I mean, important. the reason he's not getting web is because of this uh, Phantom Knives or Ass a second ago. So in a way, you can say that that Phantom Knives or Ass uh, is going to win him this fight. And, uh, but on the other hand, he only has level two Phantom Knives in this fight. The hippo, uh, hippo is going down there. There's another Phantom Knives doing a little bit of damage, but it's still level two. That's not even that big of a problem. The hippos kind of already did their job because they they forced him out of the base. They're, everyone, you're out, you're able to put a ton of damage on him. Uh, it kind of made his units run back, which allowed your units to do damage. Those hippos did their job, Chakra. They uh they they can rest peacefully in the afterlife. Ah, one dry dies there. That bear in the front is also about to die. Uh, we still have the destroyers all up. The three destroyers will take care of the bears. Well, maybe, maybe not. Like one destroyer in the back, sneaking from uh, over the trees, doing a lot of damage because he just drank some uh, ma magic. So he does so much damage. And uh, without these bears, I mean, uh, that should easily take the fight, though. Uh, this is just getting out microed by Hap Happy. Is just out microing the crap out of Sonic here. Happy is too good. It's like he's cheating. Well, uh, let's see if Sonic can ho hold on somehow. He's only like 28 supply behind. He's a 27 supply, so it's about double <laughs> the supply here for uh, Happy. But Foggy, uh, I mean, Sonic's expansion is up, so maybe if he somehow magically can do something, he can get a comeback. I don't see that happening, Chaco. At this point, the heroes are even too much. Or he's looking at 333 heroes for Happy. Which he's not going to be able to kill any one of them. Why kill this them? Is, he has uh, staff of silence. He can just say, tell them, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> this is not looking pretty. I'm going to expect a GG out here very quickly. Well, it looks scouts, like I don't have to write a thesis. He scouts the top left with the uh, ghoul. Oh, happy can send ghouls over or whatever at the top left. And win the game if he wants to. I mean, for now, he's just killing wisps and, you know, buildings. Yeah. At this point, the only production buildings are in the main, so he can just keep killing units as they come out. And, uh... Happy is sitting pretty right now. He even brings in a pudgy to help win the fight. A what? A pudgy. An A-bomb. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Gordon blinking around. Uh, okay, there's the last fight, the last stand. One bear is dead, and Dryd is dead, and the GG has been thrown.